Okay. My f- name's Shane Collins. Okay, where were you born? Where was I born? Yeah. Uh, cool, I was actually born in uh, Windsor, although my folks were living in Scotland. And uh, yeah, then moved to England and grew up in Somerset. Okay, what year was that? Uh, when I moved to England. Oh, when you were born? I was born 61, 1961. difficult question I have a sort of job portfolio I do lots of different things according to what time it time of the year it is so at the moment it's putting on festivals litter picking and recycling at other people's festivals um, and uh, I do a lot of work for the Green Party and um, Lambeth Community Police Consultative Group and community greenhouses in the park uh, and also sell cider and perry and apple juice green activist broadly. In 1989 uh, it was becoming plainly apparent that climate change was going to become you know, an unstoppable force unless we changed our behaviour as bunches of individuals and as a society. <coughs> so I was very concerned about the IPCC report in the late 80s and the early 90s um, came across a Green Party stall in 1989 at the European elections and I'd always been involved in sort of anti-nuclear stuff um, although quite on the periphery but when the Green Party stall came around that seemed like you know, encompassed all what one felt um, so uh, yeah, got involved with the Green Party and, and been involved with them ever since Cheap housing uh, a lot of interesting people around um, good sort of cultural mix. I was very involved with uh, community art centres, you know, squatting empty buildings, giving them back for use of the people. So there certainly was lots of um, empty buildings at Brixton, so it was a good place to be. All right, well, the main thing Cool Town was, it, it was an empty Cool Town Suntown Lotion factory, and then we moved into the Dole House, an old Dole office where myself and a lot of other people used to sign on in Cold Harbour Lane. So essentially what we did was gave that back for community use. Um, and at the time, in the early 90s, there was a huge road building program, £26 billion road building program going ahead, um, and the Criminal Justice Bill came in. So. Cool Town, through having you know, land, a roof, a dry bit of space, could provide um, office space for all these groups who were involved in anti-road campaigning, um, f- reclaim the streets, putting on street parties, challenging the sort of corporate power. And it's worth remembering that we were winning. You know, we lost a few battles at Twyford Down and Newbury and M11, but we stopped the road building program. We stopped the Conservatives road building program in the 90s. Went from 26 billion quid to 3 billion pounds. So you know, it's important to remember victories and that was as a result of, you know, it was a mixture of art and politics. Um, since then, 9-11, um, war on terror, you know, things have gone backwards, there's been a reaction but it's important to remember that in the 90s we were winning and we can win again. There tends to be a lot more people now in Brixton who just do 9 to 5 jobs, they work out of Brixton, they commute back in, they go to the supermarket, they buy their ready-made meals and they don't really participate in Brixton life in the same way as say you know, 10, 15 years ago when there was a lot of artists cultural people in the area who squatted here because it's cheap housing and you know they didn't go out and do nine to five jobs they did jobs in the community within the sort of arts side of Brixton and uh, certainly the community and the culture was a hell of a lot stronger then because people you know their work and what their hobbies and what they did to make them feel good was the same now it tends to be a lot more people just sort of doing money jobs who come back to Brixton to sleep, go to a few bars, go to the supermarket. It's not quite the same. You know, change is going to happen. It is inevitable. We are coming to the end of you know, our fossil fuel epoch. Um, so you know, the first thing that people have to realise is that you know, there are going to be huge changes. So you can either prepare for them or 
you can just w let them wash over you when it happens. But, you know, forewarned is forearmed. Um, so, you know, you need to be more comfortable living with less because you will be living with less and if you're not used to living with less, you're going to be extremely uncomfortable. Um, you need to learn how to survive a bit more on your own, be a bit more independent, have a better understanding of how food is grown, how to cook cheaply, how to cook well, communally. Um, basically, we need to be less dependent upon oil because that's going to go up. So, you know, if your choice is a car or a bicycle, it makes sense to get the bicycle because the car is going to become very expensive.